Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Weiner, and what I'd like to discuss with you is the various treatments we have to treat acne at our office. Um, acne obviously affects many, many people, from young to the older. Even a lot of people in menopause start to get acne. So it's a problem that affects a lot of people. So the very first thing is, is that ac acne sufferers need to be on retinol or retin-A. That's universal. We go, if you have minor acne or major acne, everyone should be on a Retin-A or a Retinol. Okay, two, um, you need to be on a good facial cleanser and, and uh, to, to clean the pores and so forth. But outside of those two recommendations, we have several different treatments uh, with devices that help with the acne. Um, Accutane is obviously very effective, but it has a, a lot of side effects, and most people don't want to have that. Also, prolonged antibiotics, most people don't want to do that either. So what do we have? Well, we have the uh, micro Botox technique that uh, I have a video about, which channels very minute uh, quantities of Botox into the upper skin to help decrease the amount of sebum from the sebaceous glands and it will last you three, four months. And because sebum is the cause of acne uh, for most people, so it just decreases the oil production from those glands. The way that works is the Botox stops the nerve from stimulating the gland to produce, just like it does uh, for uh, underarm sweat. It decreases the amount of sweat because it stops the nerve from transmitting that neurotransmitter to produce the sweat. So that's a great technique, very little downtime, fairly inexpensive, not, not uh, long-term results, but three, four months, which is pretty good. So um, another treatment we have is called Levulin. And Levulin is FDA approved to treat uh, precancerous lesions, but we found, and it's done throughout the world, that putting Levulin on the skin is absorbed into the sebaceous gland. So you leave it on the skin for approximately an hour, hour and a half, and then uh, you wash it off, and then you activate it with uh, a laser and light. And what that does is it basically decreases the secretion from the sebaceous glands and decreases the sebum production. Having two or three of those will give you very prolonged results, months to even years in some reports. I would expect to have uh, months improvement, uh, maybe even year improvement, and then doing a, a touch-ups about once a year. Levulin has around uh, 36 hours in which you really need to stay in the dark because uh, any further light exposure can activate more of the levulin and cause too much of a result. So you have to prepare for 36 hours of being in the house uh, with low lights, um, and then you peel for about three, four days. So it's so there is some downtime and some peeling associated with that procedure. Another treatment we have is um, using the Spectra Gold Hand Piece, and we have another video about that as well. And what that does, it's a Q-switch laser, a Spectra laser, and it. Uh, is attracted to reds. So what it does is it uh, attacks the red from acne as well as active acne. So it's a little bit different. It doesn't give as much a long-term result as a short-term result. It helps with the redness associated with the acne as well as active acne. So it decreases the um, inflammation rather quickly within uh, days of an active acne breakout. Doing a series of those, uh, between uh, four and eight of them will give you a long-term uh, result that will last you months. There is extremely very little downtime with that procedure. You have redness for a day and, and that's it. So there's very little restrictions. Another um, acne treatment we have at the Aesthetic Clinique is the Spectra Peel, which is the same Spectra laser, which is a Q-switch laser. And I have a video on this as well where you put a carbon, um, a, a, you, put a, you put a carbon solution on the skin and you let it sit there for about 15 to 20 minutes. It absorbs into the upper layer of the skin, very upper layer. And then you go back in with the Q-switch laser and what it does is it uh, heats up the skin because the laser is attracted to that carbon 
uh, and then you actually zap off the carbon. When you zap the carbon off, it takes a very, very small layer of the upper skin with it. So you basically get a, a peel with, it's called a, basically a laser peel with this spectra, spectra laser. Um, and there's been studies that show if you get six to eight of these procedures, you also get prolonged results with your acne, sometimes lasting for a year or longer. There's absolutely zero downtime with that procedure. It's also called the Hollywood peel because a lot of Hollywood actors do that right before they go onto the red carpet. So that, that's a great procedure to improve acne. The only downside is it does take several procedures to do, but, but it is well worth it with prolonged results. The, um, the last uh, I want to discuss is the Infini. The Infini, which is a microneedling device that has radio frequency at the ends of it, is our go-to device now for acne scarring, uh, as well as um, skin tightening and neck tightening, facial tightening. But as a side effect or benefit, you might say, it, it also is able to help decrease the secretion of sebum from the sebaceous glands because when you're going into the skin, it's heating up the middle part of the skin and the deeper parts of the skin where these glands are and it just mildly destroys some of those glands. So people with acne scarring often have acne as well, so it helps them with their acne. So there's a lot of other choices out there other than Accutane and prolonged antibiotics. So we have about four or five or six different treatments that you can offer some with a little more downtime, some you have to come back more often. Um, so um, give us a call and we, we can give you a, a range of choices that best fits your lifestyle for acne relief. Thank you. If you want to get further information about the Aesthetic Clinique, you can visit our website, which is theclinique.net. Um, you can visit our Facebook page, which is The Aesthetic Clinique. You can visit my blog, which is stephenfweinermd.wordpress.com. And you can also visit us on Twitter, Twitter at The Clinique. And we also have an Instagram, which, which is The Aesthetic Clinique. So we have several ways to uh, get a hold of us and keep up with us.